Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through rational numbers. Today, we will discuss the closure property of different types of numbers. It is better to understand the closure property through an example. We are familiar with whole numbers, that is, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. If we add 1 and 3, we get 4. Here, 1, 3 and 4 are whole numbers. When we multiply 1 and 3, we get 3, which is also a whole number. That is, when we add two whole numbers, the result is always a whole number. And when we multiply two whole numbers, the result is also a whole number. That is, in both cases, we can see an operation performed on two elements of a set always produces another element within the same set. This property is called closure property. Here we can say whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication. Is subtraction of whole numbers closed or not? When we subtract 2 from 5, we get 3, which is also a whole number. But, when we subtract 3 from 1, we get minus 2, which is not a whole number. From these two examples, we understood that when we subtract two whole numbers, the result may not always be a whole number. That is, the whole numbers are not closed under subtraction. What happens in the case of division? On dividing 1 by 3, we get 1 by 3, which is not a whole number. That is, the whole numbers are not closed under division. In general, if A and B are any two whole numbers, then a plus B, and A multiplied by B, will also be a whole number. That is, whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication. Next, consider the case of integers. Take two integers, minus 3 and 2. Add minus 3 and 2, we get minus 1. Here, minus 1 is also an integer. That is, integers are closed under addition. On subtracting 2 from minus 3, we get minus 5, which is also an integer. That is, integers are closed under subtraction. On multiplying minus 3 and 2, we get minus 6 which is also an integer. That is, integers are closed under multiplication. In the case of division, minus 3 divided by 2, we get minus 3 by 2, which is not an integer. That is, integers are not closed under division. In general, for any two integers a and b, a plus b, a minus b and a multiplied by b will also be an integer that is integers are closed under addition subtraction and multiplication and not closed under division next let's consider rational numbers take two rational numbers one by two and three by four add one by two and three by four here the denominators are different, so we need to take LCM of 2 and 4.
which will be equal to 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2, that is, equal to 4. So, 1 by 2, plus 3 by 4, equals 2 by 4, plus 3 by 4, equals 2 plus 3, divided by 4, equals 5 by 4. Here, 5 by 4, is a rational number. That is, rational numbers are closed under addition. On subtracting 3 by 4, from, 1 by 2. LCM of 2 and 4 equals 4. So, 1 by 2, minus 3 by 4, equals 2 by 4, minus 3 by 4, equals 2 minus 3, divided by 4, equals minus 1 by 4, which is also a rational number. That is, rational numbers are closed under subtraction. On multiplying 1 by 2 and 3 by 4, we get 1 multiplied by 3 divided by 2 multiplied by 4 equals 3 by 8, which is also a rational number. That is, rational numbers are closed under multiplication. And dividing 1 by 2 by 3 by 4, we can write 1 by 2 multiplied by the reciprocal of 3 by 4, that is 4 by 3, which gives 4 by 6. Its reduced form is 2 by 3, which is also a rational number. But, if we take a rational number p, which is divided by another rational number 0, then we get p by 0, which is not defined. Therefore we can say, the rational numbers are not closed under division. In general, for any two rational numbers a and b, a plus b, a minus b, and a multiplied by b, will also be a rational number. That is, rational numbers are closed under addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So, whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication. Integers are closed under addition, subtraction, and multiplication. And the rational numbers are closed under addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Let's have a quick recap. Today, we discussed the closure property for whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Find the sum of minus 5 and 1 by 8. Check if it is an integer or a rational number. That's all for now, see you all in the next class.